Ethical guidelines related to the use of animals. Animals are frequently used in psychological research for a number of different reasons as suggested by psychologists, they are convenient models, a way to execute procedures that could not be possible, because of ethical considerations, and because of redundancy. This is why research is conducted on animals, but their welfare needs safeguarding. Animals are also often protected by law, but these guidelines specifically consider the effects of research in which animals may be caged slash confined, harmed, in pain or stressed, this suffering should be minimized. Veterinary help slash advice should be sought in case where needed. Replacements Researchers should consider replacing actual animal experiments with alternatives such as videos from previously conducted studies or computer simulations. Species and strain The chosen species and strain should be the one that is least likely to go through distress or pain. Other relevant and important factors such as if the animals were bred in captivity, if the animals were participants in a study prior to the current one and the sentence period of the studies. Number of animals Only the minimum number of animals needed to produce reliable and valid findings should be utilized. To minimize the number, pilot studies, reliable measures of the DV, good experimental design and research method along with solid data analysis. Procedures, distress and pain. Research that may potentially cause disease, injury, physiological and psychological distress, discomfort and death should be avoided at all costs. The experimental design should work on reducing any possible pain of the animals, rather than worsen the situation. Alternatively, naturally occurring instances may be used, such as during research, attention has to be paid to the animal's daily care and veterinary needs and any costs inflicted upon the animal should be justified by an objective, scientific explanation that benefits the work. Housing Isolation and overcrowding can cause animals to become distressed as some of them have solitary, territorial tendencies and habits. The caging condition should be considered according to the social behavior patterns of the animals. Overcrowding can cause aggression and consequently, distress. Their food and water should be sufficient regarding their dietary habits. However, the artificial environment only needs to recreate the aspects of the natural environment that are important to welfare and survival. E.g. warmth, space for exercise, or somewhere to hide. Cage cleaning should top priority. Reward and deprivation as aversive stimuli. When initiating studies that concern the dietary habits of animals, it should be designed to satisfy the needs. The usage of preferred food should be considered as an alternative to deprivation and alternatives to aversive stimuli. Aversive stimuli by definition is an intentionally simulated unpleasant event slash occurrence that intends to decrease the plausible probability of a behavior when it is presented as a consequence for example, a punishment. Deprivation should be used where possible. Anesthesia, analgesia, and euthanasia. Anesthesia, it is a process of temporary loss of sensation, awareness and consciousness that is induced through four, intravenous circulation. This is usually to induce a paralysis, for muscle relaxation. Analgesia, medication used to relieve pain, inflammation, and etc. Euthanasia, it is also known as mercy killing. It is the process of intentionally killing, relieving the subject from the pain and suffering, withholding artificial life support and treatments.